Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I'm going to take you on a tour of our latest listing for rent in Washington, Utah. It is directly behind me and it is directly across the street from a park. Just a second, let me flip this thing around so I can show you. So we are in the beautiful Shooting Star neighborhood in Washington, Utah. It's kind of in the middle of everything, steps away from Costco really really close to pretty much everything everything is within like a 10 minute or even a five minute drive from here so if you're thinking about building maybe you're already building maybe you're thinking about moving to southern utah but not quite sure if you're ready to commit especially in this crazy time with values and mortgages being all over the place this might be a great option for you this home is incredible. It was just built um, a couple years ago, so it still has a brand new home feel. Tons of parking, has an RV plus two car garage, and this entire property was customized and upgraded throughout. In the front, have some really cool looking landscaping with some desert plants, a little bit of grass, a couple of mature palm trees. Well as mature as they get within a few years. But let's head inside and check out this beautiful home. It's got a cool looking stucco on the exterior, it's blue, so it stands out a little bit from the rest of the homes in the neighborhood. As we enter, there is an office, and this home is being offered um, partly furnished, furnished. So all the furnishings that you see in the house can stay with this rental. So right off the main entry, we have an office, and this floor plan is nice and open, so it opens up right into the living room, and the set of stairs will take us upstairs. But let's cover the main floor first. You can hear the water in the background. The pool and the water features are turned on right now. And there is a massive slider that opens up to the back. And another thing that's really cool about this house is the rear privacy. Everything else is below it, but we'll get to that in just one moment. Let's check out the sleeping room and kitchen area. <clears throat> a nice wine organizer with a wine cooler directly below. Beautiful soft close cabinets. Kitchen is nice and very spacious. Thick cut countertops. Make this feel really chic. Really good size center island. Some cool light fixtures. Smart refrigerator. This refrigerator has basically a tablet built into it. Wall oven and microwave. Four burner gas cook top. Beautiful backsplash that just kind of goes throughout. There's no shortage of views in this house from pretty much every window. Nice farmhouse sink, dishwasher. And I'll give you guys a perspective on the living room. And the pantry is just right here in the corner. Plenty of room in the pantry. Down that hallway is the primary suit. And as we go this way, I'll show you guys this first. There's a nice mud room. Plenty of room for shoes, jackets, whatever else you'd want to put there. There is a powder right off the garage door, which is super convenient. 
directly across is the laundry room. Lots of cabinet space, really nice Samsung washer and dryer. And this door takes us out into the garage. Does have a very spacious two car garage, as well as an oversized RV garage. I believe this RV garage is 40 feet deep. I'll verify and I'll post it in the description below. There are a couple of large windows, some extra storage above. As you can see, there's plenty of garage space for pretty much any of your cars, toys, RVs, anything that you'd like to park in here. Let's head back inside and check out the primary suite in this home. So this home on the main level has the primary bathroom, a, an office, living room, kitchen, and everything else is upstairs. Beautiful fireplace with some rock. As we go down this hallway, there is a linen closet slash vacuum cleaner closet. <coughs> and this is the master bedroom. All of these shades are electronic, so you could raise them and lower them with a the remote control. Nice accent wall. Just take a step back, give you guys another perspective on this space. home has a really nice primary bath with dual vanity, floating shelves for some towels, really nice light fixtures, very spacious closet, definitely plenty of room in here and the shower is massive and has two shower heads, really good size bench, and you could turn it on and off without getting wet, which is great. All right, let's head upstairs and check out the rest of the square footage in this home. Actually, before we head upstairs, let's take a step outside and check out the backyard. The owners, Kind of went above and beyond in this home and customized a lot of aspects of this house. And I really, really like what they have done with the backyard. So there is a triple slider that folds away. This makes this an indoor, outdoor area. It is beautiful if you're entertaining or if you're just having an afternoon dinner out back or maybe enjoying a glass of wine. This house has a massive pool with a beautiful grotto with a slide. There is a spa and a shallow area on this side. And then of course, the slide is over on the deep end. So cool. We have this cool grotto. With a little cave. Looks very real. As you can see, rocks like that in several places in southern Utah. And that's the view as you jump into your pool. And as I mentioned earlier, all of your rear neighbors are way below down there, so you don't have any rear neighbors. You have full privacy from the back. There's a cool little hangout area down there. And there's a decent distance between you and your side neighbors as well. <coughs> I'll just make my way over to the other side of this backyard to give you guys another perspective. We have some really cool afternoon views on the Washington Valley as the sun begins to set. Thank <laughs> you. 
Very spacious backyard and it's all very private and secluded, fully fenced. I'll just step over here to give you guys another perspective. The pool is heated. It's actually relatively inexpensive to keep it nice and warm. This cost of utilities in Southern Utah is really not bad, especially when comparing it to the rest of the country. Let's head back inside and check out the upstairs. And folks, I will post the link to the full listing in the description below. All applications are subject to approval and all the showings in person can be scheduled post completing a successful application. Nice padded staircase takes us upstairs. As soon as we make it to the top, there is a full bath with a dual vanity. Beautiful countertops. Toilet and a shower tub combo. There are one, two, three bedrooms and a second living room up here. We'll start with this bedroom. This is kind of a smaller bedroom that opens up to the front of the property. There's a nice large window and a fan light fixture. And it's not bad. You could comfortably fit maybe a queen or a full size bed in here. It does have a closet. There is a bedroom with an ensuite. It's a little bit more spacious. As you can see right now, it has a queen size bed in it. And that is the ensuite bath with a shower top combo. Some really nice tile work, great countertops. And let's check out the rest of the bedrooms up here. This bedroom is a little more spacious. And all of the shades upstairs are electronic as well. And this is the second living room. I suppose it could also be set up as a bedroom or kids room. There's plenty of room to entertain up here super spacious. There are some beautiful views from that back window. However, can't find a remote, so I couldn't show you, but just take my word for it. And this room also has a massive closet. Folks, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please drop them in the comments below or reach out to me directly. If you'd like to rent this place, there's a link in the description below this video. Apply or just give me a call with any questions before you apply. We'd love to chat with you, possibly get you into this place. Thanks.